All right, hi guys. Uh, it's Paz here from Blue Themes, and I just wanted to show you how simple it is and how basic and so simple it is to customize the Phenomenon WordPress theme, and especially the homepage. All right, so what you see here is a totally naked version mm -hmm. of uh, WordPress version three. I just want to show you how I do it right from the start. All right, so let's go to our dashboard. I'm already logged in. Go to the theme section. The only thing I did here is uploaded my theme files, my phenomenal theme files. So I activate it. Alright. And this is how it looks after I did an activation. Let's refresh. Alright, so this is how it looks. As you can see, you have the text logo here. The login bo uh, button, the slider, which has nothing in at the moment, only the default posts, the footer, and that's it. Sorry for that little bug there, I just did something before. Alright, so this is how it looks, totally naked. So, let me show you how to customize the home page. Alright, oh, before that, I just want to show you the login box by default is connected to the WordPress login. If you do if I press here, it will log in to my WordPress admin section. All right. So, let me show you how to customize the homepage. Let's start with the pricing boxes, all right? Oh, you know what? Let's start with the menu. Let's go to the menus area like we always do when we create menu with the new WordPress tree. Let's call it my menu and create menu all right let's drag press view on press home about add to menu save menu and in the theme locations we should add we should have the my menu and save it right let's go to our back to our theme and refresh let's see what happens hope it works <laughs> alright we got a basic navigation here not too shabby but we got it working so I'm gonna skip the slider at the moment I'm gonna do a whole screencast for it especially so I'm gonna go next to our pricing boxes alright so let's go back to our dashboard and let's go to our widgets section my personal favorite. One second, I load. All right. As you can see here, we have a special sidebar called Homepage Pricing Boxes. The sidebar can only contain our special custom made widgets called Blue Theme Homepage Pricing Box. All right. Let's show you how it works. I'm going to drag one here. So, this is how the widget um, built. First off, the, there's the title, let's call it Plan A. This is the pricing box title, the content, I'm going to leave it like the default. The price should be, let's say, $25. And it should be per, let's say, day. This area, we only check if our price is longer than two digits. At the moment, it's only two digits, so we don't need to check this. Um, here we're going to enter the URL that we want our order now button to link to. Let's say just hashtag and choose the color of the order now button. The default color is red. So if you want to use anything, a red a red button will be created, but let's say I want to use the blue button and hit save. All right, let's go back to our theme refresh and let's see what happens. All right, we got our first plan going on. Very simple, very quick. Plan A. This is the content. This is the price per day. Order now button. And as you can see, at the status bar, I don't, I don't know if you see it or not, but it's linked to the hashtag. So, as you can see, we did a pricing box. Now let's show you the other feature that I didn't show you before is the longer the two digits. Let's create another one. Let's call it. Plan B. Leave the content the same. Let's give it a price of 
50.55 all right so we have a longer price longer than two digits all right let's say it's per month and we check this because it is longer than two digit two digits the URL should be again hashtag and the color let's say I want it to be green and save refresh all right plan B has 50.55 as you can see the price is smaller but it all fits in a little price box and the button is green like we chose so let's move forward to our main homepage content alright so let's go back to our dashboard and let's go to our phenomenon theme options panel I call it the blues panel alright let's skip to the homepage section and so this is how it looks first box we're gonna deal with is the bottom left or the welcome box title alright let's see what it does bottom left welcome box enter the title for the bottom left or welcome box on the home page let's say welcome guys alright and this is the content now this is the a little bit tricky part what you need to enter here is actually HTML and you all can also use short codes to create buttons and I know it's kinda messy so what I did for you is created a sample code you can see enter the content from the bottom left welcome box content uh, you can use HTML and short codes to style it and to create buttons if you want this box to look like the demo you will need to copy a, de a demo code from here let's press it and modify it to your needs this will open up a, a new window from a site called Snippler you will have a demo code that just copy everything control C and paste it here Let's go down and no, did it I didn't do it correctly. What you should do is how do I copy it without the two? Alright, try this. Hmm. I don't want this. Let's delete this area. I don't know what copied it, but it's annoying, so I'm gonna delete the one and the two. Alright, this is how it should look alright and let's hit the save and refresh our site and let's see what happens alright we got the welcome guys we got the dummy text and we got the button how the button looks we created it from here you can see it here this is the short code for the button it's called big button the link we wanted to link to I just did a demo to my support forums and the color I did I chose blue and this is the text actually learn more and the closing alright great let's move on to the middle box the services box this is built uh, on a different way alright so let me show you go to our dashboard to our admin panel and alright the bottom middle or services box title we choose the title let's say our services and hit save now before I'm gonna go back to the home page to the live demo I'm gonna show you how to populate the demo with actual services with icons very very easily using widgets alright so as you can see here there's also sidebar called home page services this sidebar is built to populate this area so let's add a sample service in yeah. this widget called blue themes home page service let's add it here alright now we're gonna choose an icon you're gonna see how easy it is to do it I put little image uh, beside every icon name so you can see what you're adding let's choose the green the content and hit save this content shouldn't be too long or else it will look a little bit messy so I recommend using short content as short as you can 
here I did, uh, I told you, content here looks best with something about 70 to 80 chars max. So, as you can see, we have our first service and it was so easy to create it. I can create as much as I want, I can change the order, let's say I want it to become before the green service, let's call it a chart and great statistics. Hoping I'm spelling it right. Hit save and refresh. And voila. Oops. As you can see, the content here is too short, so I need to add another line. Let's enter some blah, blah, blah. And copy and paste it a few times. And save. So as you can see, it should be two rows but not one row or else it will look ugly <laughs> let's see refresh and alright now it looks good so this is how you customize the services area and let's move on to the third box called I call it the testimonial box but you don't have to use it as a testimonial box it's up to you let me show you how let's go back to our blues panel once again go to the home page tab and this is our testimonial or bottom right box title let's say testimonials this is gonna be the title and here once again you're gonna need to use our demo code and customize it to your need you, you don't have to use it as, as a testimonial box you can use it like you did on the welcome box but if you do want to use it like that I suggest you copy the code from the link provided here copy it how they copy it man let's say plain text let's see what happens maybe it's what you need oh alright so what you need to do is press on the plain text and copy it paste it here and save changes I know it looks a little bit complicated but investigate it and so you can learn how it works let's go back to the home page and refresh and that's it you see there's a little circle here because the image is located on some other server that's I bet I bet the link is broken but don't mind it at the moment you can see the content is look like the demo and everything here is being like you wanted to the button is green like you chose on the short code here big button link this is where you want it to link green and more testimonials that's it so this is how you customize the home page um, next section we're gonna do the footer it's very very simple also you know what I'm gonna do another screencast for it especially uh, bye